Police in Lexington have made a fourth arrest on gang recruitment charges. We're tracking their year-long investigation into a Chicago-based organization now in central Kentucky. The Powell County Search and Rescue Team saves a teenager from Pilot Knob. I'll tell you why they say this was one of the most difficult rescues they've ever done. A dog from Georgetown is missing hours after finding a new home. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 6. Lexington police make another gang recruitment arrest. Thanks for watching WKYT on the CW Lexington. I'm Kristen Kennedy. Officers arrested 42 year old Thomas Wallace Jr. Friday night in Lexington. They originally arrested three people Thursday for the same crime. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is tracking the new arrest in our top story at 6. We have learned through these court documents that another man is now behind bars charged in connection with the recruitment for a Chicago based gang. Police say that initiation took place in a Lexington Park. Gregory Smith, Gerald Smith, and Trevor Spencer all arrested on Thursday, charged with criminal gang recruitment. We spoke to Lexington Police Chief Mark Barnard after those arrests. We expect to see more arrests. I think we will. That statement proved true as police made a fourth arrest late Friday night, charging 42 year old Thomas Wallace Jr. also with criminal gang recruitment. That's what we want to do. We don't want it to start and then blossom. We want to take it right now and nip it at the bud and get right to it. Chief Barnard says the arrests are more than a year in the making, with surveillance of individuals allowing officers to learn about. And monitor recruitment going on for the criminal gang, the Black Pea Stones. In September of last year, officers say an initiation ritual called a beat in went on in Lexington's Whitney Young Park. Officers say at least a dozen people participated in that beat in, including the three arrests made late last week, as well as this most recent arrest. Wallace Jr. was arrested at a home on Breathitt Avenue here in Lexington. He is also facing a possession of marijuana charge, as well as fleeing or evading police. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Criminal gang recruitment is a misdemeanor charge. Both Gerald Smith and Gregory Smith pleaded guilty to that charge in court Friday. A teenager is recovering tonight after rescue crews say he fell more than 20 feet off a cliff. Volunteers say the hiker was climbing near Pilot Knob in Powell County at the time. Multiple agencies had to help with the rescue. Volunteers told WKYT Sean Moody it was one of the most challenging rescues they've ever performed. For Rick Hammond, hiking is a passion. It's what led him to become a member of the Powell County Search and Rescue Team. I spent a lot of time hiking and camping out there. I knew it so well, I thought I could do that to help people. Mostly it's for uh, lost hikers. But around 1.30 Sunday morning, Hammond was rushing here to Pilot Knob in Powell County for something much more serious. Uh, initial call was a, a hiker that fell. Hammond said a teenager had fallen down a cliff about 20 to 25 feet. He said that teen had head injuries. We all knew we, we had to get this guy in, out quick, as quick as we could. Which isn't easy here. This is the way up. This is steeper than anything we got in the gorge, steeper for a longer period of time. The crews had to set up several rope systems to get themselves and all their gear up to where that teen was. Fatigue and the danger of slipping weren't the only problems. They also had to look for danger from copperheads along the forest floor. When they started shining the flashlights and you could see the eyes, it's very interesting. Now, Rick said once they got about halfway up the trail, they realized they were going to need another piece of equipment that was back down here at the trailhead. He said one of his teammates made all the difference in the world by getting back down here, grabbing that gear, and getting it all the way back up to the top in about half the time it would normally take. Ran back up the hill, passed us to the top to get the suction unit to this guy, and it kept this guy's lungs clear, and, and, and he, kept, he kept breathing the whole way down. So. It was a, he's a hero, very humble man, very kind man, very a hero. Hammond said crews from Estill County, Wolf County, and Clay City Fire Department, as well as the Powell County Sheriff, helped get that teen out by about 5 a.m. There's no word on his condition this afternoon. In Powell County, Sean Moody, WKYT. The Powell County Search and Rescue Team is always looking for more volunteers. Look for this story on WKYT.com to find out how you can join the team.
That humidity you're feeling outside isn't going anywhere just yet. The muggy weather is making a comeback for the work week. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell is tracking heat, humidity, showers, and storms. Yeah, a little bit of everything that you would normally see during the summer months. And we're going to be doing it out there again for us today. We look to our sky cam, and off in the distance, what we're tracking is a shower just in northern sections of Fayette County. Some heavier rain associated with that. Now, we also flip over to Defender, and you can see some of the heavier rain now scooting more so out into parts of Bourbon County. So, it'll be coming your way toward the, the Paris area here soon. So, expect some of that heavy stuff. We go back toward the south and southern sections of uh, Fayette County, and you got a little rain that stretches all the way down to the county line, but heavier rain situated right around Tate's Creek High School, at least at this point. On a larger scale, you're going to see more scattered showers and even some thunder showers that have developed here over the past little bit. An area basically right along the uh, BG Parkway, and then you've got some heavier rain now sweeping through parts of Franklin County, just outside of the city of Frankfort. Actually, our only lightning strike we've had within the past 15 minutes. So heavy rain, and you're going to run into more of these, more scattered showers and thunder showers, just like this, that produce heavy rounds of rain, and they quickly. Exit your area. That's going to be the theme of the week, it looks like. We'll take a closer look at that coming up in just a few minutes. We have an update for you on a story we've been following out of Laurel County. The family of Chris Gilbert, the man diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease two weeks ago, says he's now being treated at UK Chandler Hospital. Gilbert's father tells us crews airlifted him there last Wednesday. He is still breathing with the help of a ventilator, but his father says he's starting to hold oxygen on his own. We wish him the best on his long road to recovery. A stay allowing the Rowan County clerk not to issue marriage licenses is set to expire tomorrow. A federal judge issued the temporary stay on his injunction that required clerk Kim Davis to issue licenses so the appeals court could review the case. Friday, Davis filed an emergency petition with the Supreme Court to have a justice review her appeal. She then asked Judge David Bunning to extend the stay while she appeals to the Supreme Court. He denied her request. Lexington police are looking for a man who led them on a high-speed chase through downtown this morning. Around 1 a.m., officers say someone fired shots near the downtown art center. They saw a man running away and they tried to chase him but say he got in a car and took off. Officers found shell casings near MLK Boulevard. Right now, they are looking for three people involved in the shooting. Also in Lexington, police are investigating a fight outside a bar. Officers went to the bar on Oxford Circle around 12.30 this morning after getting a report of shots fired. While they were there, police say a fight broke out in front of the building. One man, we're told, went to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. So far, no charges have been filed. Leaders at a southeastern Kentucky jail are warning people to watch out for an escaped inmate. The Harlan County Detention Center says 26-year-old James Curtis Lewis ran away from his group while out on work detail Friday. A radio station reports Lewis has a tattoo of the word Kentucky across his throat. An adoption organization is asking for help tracking down a dog that just ran away from his forever home. Adoption leaders with Woodstock Animal Foundation say Mr. Snow, an eight-year-old miniature schnauzer, went missing in the Molly Way area of Georgetown yesterday. Mr. Snow, we're told, lived most of his life in a puppy mill and is deaf. WKYT's Mike Linden is talking to the adoption director. Mr. Snow is an eight-year-old schnauzer who spent the first eight years of his life living in a cage in a puppy mill. And only hours after finding a new home to live in in Georgetown, he's missing. According to adoption coordinators with the Woodstock Animal Foundation in Lexington, Mr. Snow went missing Saturday night near the newly developed Molly Way area of Georgetown. Mr. Snow, who is deaf, had just arrived at his newly adopted home when he slipped through a hole in a backyard fence. Woodstock Animal Foundation officials say Mr. Snow is still wearing a green harness and a red collar with a Woodstock ID tag. Adoption director Anita Spritzer says she's particularly worried about the area where Mr. Snow was lost. He can see danger, but he can't hear danger coming after him. And we know that the coyote population is very high in this area, so that's why we're reaching out to the public to help us find him. Spritzer says because of Mr. Snow's upbringing in a puppy mill, he's still scared to be around people. And if you do come across him here in Georgetown, to bring him in with some food or treats to calm him down. In Georgetown, Mike Linden, WKYT. 
A Kentucky great grandmother taking the internet by storm will make an appearance at MTV's Video Music Awards tonight. 87 year old Helen Van Winkle, known as Batty, lived in Madison County for 50 years. Her outrageous style caught the attention of many in the music industry. Her fashion sense earned her a trip to one of the most popular music award shows. I have a lot of friends in Richmond uh, that. Uh, uh, they're they're amazed and they support me fully, uh, but you know, and all those college kids, uh, univer you know the EKU, uh, they all know me. I've had picture, numerous pictures made with them. The Video Music Awards air on MTV tonight at nine o'clock.